In this video, we will learn about how to create a T-joint or a lap joint in carpentry shop. This is a metal jack plane. This is a hand saw. This is a flat file. And this is a piece of wood on which we will work. As we can see, its surface is quite rough, so the first thing we'll do is to make it smooth and plain by cutting out excess wood. To do this, we'll need our jack plane. Always try to hold the jack plane this way. By giving forward stroke, we'll make the surface plain on each side. Now we will use a file for further smoothing of the surface. This piece looks good. We can proceed to the next step now. This piece needs to be cut into two equal halves and to do this we'll need markings. Ours had a length of 30.6 cm so we are marking at 15.3 cm from either side. Tightening it on the bench wise we'll carefully cut it with the handsaw. Always try to start with a slow backstroke to get a cut and after that catch your speed. We got two pieces now. But hey, this surface seems dirty. Putting it this way on the vise will file it. So now, we'll mark a gap of 20 cm in the middle of this piece by first marking its middle and then taking 10, 10 cm on its left and right. This will receive the other workpiece and to make it happen we will create a depth of 1.5 cm by marking this way on both opposite sides. Now, we'll cut along the markings up to the mark depth. Before cutting, put your thumbnail on the marking this way. This will guide the saw blade in the beginning. The blade has now reached the end of the first marking. So, we'll cut along the second marking up to 1.5 cm. This is also done. So, we'll remove this middle part by using a chisel very carefully. Put the chisel on this marking and give a light punch so that chisel penetrates inside a little. Do this again carefully up to the end of the marking. Do the same on the other side as well. This time, punch a bit harder so that the chisel penetrates more deeper. But do this slowly and in progressive steps. The block now has been removed. Remove any remaining wood if present.
never pull any projections harder. In fact, use the chisel to cut off these projections. This gap is so rough, so we'll file it until it gets smooth and flat. Now we'll remove wood of dimensions 1.5 cm in thickness and 4.6 cm in width. We'll mark on both sides of this piece. Putting our thumbnail on the marking will start to cut along. Putting the piece horizontally will cut along the other marking as well. This new surface needs finishing, so file. Purpose of using triangular file here was the good finish it gives. The rows of teeth are small and are very close to each other. It gives a very smooth finish. All done. Just put the pieces together. Use a little blow of hammer if they don't fit together. Thanks for watching.